Welcome to the Eureka Learning's YouTube channel. Today I am discussing about how to scale ML systems and deep learning systems uh, and how can we use multiple GPs if we have multiple GPs how can we use for our task. So I will discuss all these things. This is a very interesting video friends. So don't skip this video. Please watch this video until uh, till the end and please subscribe my channel. Let's go into the video friends. So here I, I am telling how can we use multiple GPs right. First I am here I am using Google Colab. Uh, so I don't have any GPU uh, locally. So that's why I am using virtual GPUs provided by the Google. Uh, so it provide uh, Tesla GPUs uh, for Google Colab users uh, currently. So normally it will give CPU runtime friends. So hardware will be CPU default when you open the Google Colab. So if you want GPUs, if you want to use GPUs, we have to change the runtime. So how can we change the runtime? Uh, click on runtime option and go to this uh, change running uh, running runtime type. And after that, you, ha you have to select the hardware accelerator. <laughs> so TensorFlow will support TPU acceleration and GPU acceleration. So we can use any of these devices for our task. So I want to use GPUs, right? So I will select GPUs and you can select save okay uh, then automatically it will change then we have to run the cells so i have already did previously before this video right so uh, let's go into the video friends so i'm importing tensorflow so i am telling all these things how can we train multiple gps i am telling about using tensorflow friends so we can do with um, pytorch we can do with tensorflow but i'm in this video i'm telling about tensorflow so first we have to import tensorflow then we want to print a number of GPUs available. How many GPUs it allotted for us? If we in our local, if we have multiple GPUs, it will show. But in in Colab, I don't have Colab Pro account. I have normal standard account, so it will allot only one GPU. So how can we know how many GPUs available using tf dot config dot list underscore physical devices friends? Okay, using this command and we want to know GPUs, right? We have to put GPU as a string. Then it will show how many number of GPUs are available. So as I mentioned, TensorFlow support uh, CPU and GPU operations. So how it will show the device names? If, we, if it is a CPU name, it will show like device, CPU, zero will be the, if we have only one. If we have multiple, the number will st uh, start from zero. Same as GPU. Okay, it is a shorthand notion, notation friends. So uh, how can we, in TensorFlow, what happened now? Uh, so how can we how the tensorflow will decide uh, i have to use cpu or i have to use gpu for this task suppose there are different methods uh, they develop the developers developed uh, using uh, gpu programming or cpu normal programming suppose if there is a one function suppose consider matrix multiplication the developers developed for this function we can run this function on gpu we can run this function on cpu so these type of functions tensorflow automatically will run on gpu only some functions will not uh, they didn't develop with the help of gpu programming those type of functions automatically tensorflow will decide uh, it will use cpu okay so that's what i'm mentioning so the kernels so which gpu it has if we have only one gpu it will select so that's why uh, if you want to know uh, which G, which device it use so we, we can use logs using this command tf dot debugging dot set underscore log device name log underscore device underscore placement if you put true all these logs will come friends so now i am discussing about matrix multiplication right this function developed using gpu and cpu kernels also so if you uh, so i am doing we need for matrix multiplication we need two variables right that is a and b so i am taking tf dot constant it is like a numpy dot array friends np dot array only the method will be same so i am taking all the matrices i am multiplying so when you print it will show all the logs by which device this multi multiplication done so it is showing gpu zero gpu so all this the taking constant the array this array and multiplication so there are three steps right so that's why it printed three three, uh, three steps uh, by which device it used for these three steps okay then finally it is providing the answer okay that is what i mentioned the above code will print a indication of matrix manipulation operation was executed uh, executed using gpu zero okay but if you want to particularly uh, only use gpu for matrix multiplication and these two if you want to use uh, cpu we can do that also friends but we have to define specifically 
for which operations you want to use cpu for which operations you want to use gpu so for that we have to use with the tf dot device as a method and we have to define the device name which device you want to use so that is the command friends so here i am doing same logging command we have to put through and see for this now array of array thing i am using cpu that's why i mentioned right with the tf dot device i am defining cpu so i have cpu one cpu right that's why i am putting like this and uh, so these two operations will done using cpu and matrix multiplication i am doing via gpu so why i didn't define automatically because this matrix multiplication uh, done based on cpu kernel and gpu kernel so as i mentioned previously tensor flow if gpu kernel also there for that function automatically it will take gpu so no need to define so it is saying only only gp if you are using gpu those logs will come friends okay that's why it is showing only matrix multiplication logs then finally answer came okay so the for gpu now i have i will show how much memory it allotted i have 15 gb of memory but i don't want to use uh, there are some other applications i am using same gpu so we can share this memory right how can we share how can we put some gpu memory or some particular or finite memory for our gpu for this application we can do that we can define our memory how much memory we require for gpu for this task so that's what i'm defining this snippet so how um, for knowing gpus how many gpus are there using this command tf.config.list underscore physical devices gpu it will give how many gpus are there if gpus are there i'm putting a condition i'm trying so tf.config.set underscore logic device configuration so i'm configuration friends because what is difference between physical device physical underscore device and logical devices physical device means referring to the hardware of the gpu the physical gpu unit the logical means how much gpu we are using for our application that is for our logic purpose right that is the difference friends don't confuse the syntax will conf uh, similar most but there is a lot of lot of difference between these two things okay physical means it will represent physical as it mentioned logic means for our application how much we are using so we want to set only some much of some memory right now we can do like this so for which gpu we want to set we have to do like this tf dot config dot set underscore logical device configuration so we are we are configuring the device right that that's why i'm doing i'm taking this command and only gpu zero is there right that's why i'm putting like this and we have to use this command for setting the memory so tf dot config dot logic device configuration memory limit 1 gb i'm putting only 1 gb friends okay so logical gps it will print how many list of logical devices then i'm printing physical device length of physical gpus and length of logical gpus if there is an error i'm uh, i'm expecting runtime error otherwise i'm printing that one so wh why i'm not getting output front because we have to do uh, already before everything uh, without changing anything friends what is mean by uh, it what it is saying virtual devices cannot be modified after being initialized so because we are using virtual gpu not our own gpu so we can't set it is not in our hand but we can be modified of uh, we we can't be modified after being initialized without be before in initializing gpu we can do that friends okay so but the logic will be same the code is not uh, wrong code is correct only don't worry about it okay this is about how can we set the memory for our okay uh, let's go next one friends uh, okay uh, suppose if you have multiple gpus uh, but you want to use uh, some gpu there are suppose if there are two gpus if you want to use second gpu for one operation we can do uh, suppose if you have two gpus now what how the tensor will flow tensor flow will consider which gpu i have to use which index is zero uh, which index is less so it will consider that only friends suppose if you have one two uh, zero and one means two gpus it will take tensor flow will take only uh, zero gpu because zero is a less value but if you want to use other one uh, we, we have to define like with uh, tf dot device gpu uh, that number so you can run that function okay uh, this is all about friends suppose uh, if you don't have that uh, gpu uh, with the help of CPU only you want to run, we can define mm, this uh, this code. 
और टी एफ डॉट कॉन फिक डॉट सेटन को सॉफ्ट डिवाइस सॉरी फ्रेंड्स सो वाट विल हैपन ना सो आटोमेटिकली सपोज इफ लॉक डिवाइज इज नॉट देर इट विल टेक सॉफ्ट डिवाइस ऑटोमेटिकली विच डिवाइज इज देर इट विल कंसिडर दट ओनली एंड विथ द हेल्प ऑफ दट डिवाइज इट विल रन द ऑपरेशन ओके दैट्स वाई आई एम सेटिंग थ्रू दट सॉफ्ट डिवाइज प्लेसमेंट ऑल्सो लॉक डिवाइज इफ लॉक डिवाइज इज नॉट देर यू कैन पुट दिस इफ इफ यू डिडेंट पुट दिस वन ना वॉट हैपन इफ इफ लॉक डिवाइज इज नॉट फोन द टेंसर फ्लो अनेबल टू फोन इट विल थ्रो एर ओके सो दट इज द फॉर दट वन आई एम यूजिंग सो नो ऐ अंटिल ऐ ई टोल हाउ टू यूज सिंगल जी पी यू नो ऐ एम कमिंग टू मल्टीपल जी पीस हाउ कैन वी यूज मल्टीपल जी पीस सो हियर फ्रेंड्स द कोड विल नॉट चेंज हियर ऐ पुट वन जी पी यू राइट बिकॉज ऐ एम यूजिंग वन जी पी यू सेम यू हेव टू कापी दिस कमेंड एंड अगेन पेस्ट दिस इन एन अदर लाइन एंड यूज सेकेंड वन देन वी आर यूजिंग टू जी पीस सेम हो मेनी जी पीस यू हेव यू हेव टू रिपीट अंटिल अंटिल दट नंबर सो हियर आई एम पुटिंग टू जी पी यूज दैट्स वाई द सिंटैक्स विल सेम हो मेनी जी पी यूस आर देर यूजिंग दिस कमेंड एंड इफ दि जी पी यूस आर देर एम कॉन्फिगरिंग एंड सो दिस टी एफ डॉट कॉम लॉजिकल डिवाइस कॉन्फिगरेशन फॉर वन जी पी यू सेकेंड जी पी यू सो हियर एम प्रिंटिंग हाउ मेनी जी पी यूस लॉजिकल जी पी यूस आर देर हाउ मेनी फिजिकल जी पी यूस आर देर ओके इट विल प्रिंट नाउ वी इनिशियल इज बिफोर ओनली राइट वी इनिशियल इज आफ्टर थिंग राइट दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द आउटपुट बट बट डोंट वरी फ्रेंड्स इफ यू इनिशलाइज इफ यू पुट द कॉन्फिग्रेशन बिफोर इनिशलाइजेशन यू विल गेट द आउटपुट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई डिड एंड टेल आई हैव एंड टेल हाउ कैन वी यूज फॉर दिस डीप लर्निंग ट्रेनिंग वी यू आई टोल्ड अबाउट नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन ओनली राइट इन द फ्यूचर वीडियोज हाउ कैन वी यू हाउ कैन वी देर आर डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटजीज देर how uh, to use multiple gps so because if we have multiple gps we can do we can divide the load between the gps right we can share the data parallelly or some techniques are there so i i i will discuss those techniques in the future videos i hope you guys enjoy this video oh, please subscribe my channel and uh, please click on the like button friends thank you thank you everyone